कि फोर्सेस एक्टिंग ऑन चिप सो टी वी विल डिस्कस हाउ मच हाउ मेनी फोर्सेस आर आर अप्लाइड ऑन अ मशीनिंग प्रोसेस ऑन अ चिप नाउ व्हाट आर द फोर्सेस हाउ वी कैन डिराइव देम एंड वी विल सॉल्व अ न्यूमेरिकल रिगार्डिंग दैट सो देयर इज अ फ्रिक्शन फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन द चिप एंड दिस फ्रिक्शन फोर्स इज अलोंग द आई विल आई हैव टोल्ड यू इन द प्रीवियस क्लासेस दैट दिस फ्रिक्शन फोर्सेस along the brake face i mean that when the chip rubs on the brake face the friction the, the chip experiences a friction so this uh, force is generated by f and the normal to this force is n when we uh, add this uh, these forces as per head to tail rule so we get a resultant r and then uh, another force that acts on a chip is shear force obviously shear force uh, separates the chip from the workpiece so then uh, f is the force that separates the uh, chips and this force acts along a plane and known as shear plane and this shear plane is uh, tilted at an angle phi so normal to the shear force is fn okay so these are the two forces shear force and normal to shear force and then we we'll, then again when we add them as per head to tail rule uh, so we will get the resultant r dot so forces in the metal cutting uh, uh, i have told you about the, these uh, the next this topic and next slides these are related to the orthogonal cutting in the previous class i have told you the difference between the orthogonal and the oblique cutting so uh, forces vector addition of uh, friction force normal to that we get resultant r and vector addition of uh, shear force normal to that one we get resultant r bar so when we will uh, when we uh, uh, when we uh, go in depth a uh, detail of these two forces uh, what we get it r bar must in equal in uh, must be equal in magnitude to r so it means these two resultant forces should be equal in magnitude opposite in direction must be collinear collinear of two forces whose line of action is same means jo ek line mein act kar rahi hoti hai beshak unki direction opposite ho the cutting force and the thrust force uh, we uh, we can't measure the forces directly because measurement of forces directly is a very difficult thing a process during the machining operation so we have derived a uh, expression in order to measure uh, without in order to measure the cutting forces that are applied on the job cutting force cutting force uh, it is denoted by fc and sometime it is denoted by Pz, okay. Its act vertically. Always remember that cutting forces always acts vertically. It has the major contribution in the about sixty seven percent of the contribution is uh, of cutting force. It acts along the vertical plane. It is tangential to the workpiece, also known as tangential force or tangential feed force. and the contribution is 67% then uh, which of the force act along the x axis or horizontal axis this is the feed force feed force or thrust force this is px it's act it acts along the x axis horizontal axis which parallel to work uh, axis and uh, its contribution is 27% then uh, we come towards a uh, radial force or radial feed force this is py so py is the radial feed force we can also see from this figure okay that fc it acts uh, vertically then uh, thrust force it acts along the x axis and uh, fr it acts along the radii also acting in the horizontal plane but along the radius of the workpiece along the axis of the tool and this uh, radial force or radial feed force it purpose uh, 
it pushes uh, it pushes uh, it pushes the tool away from the workpiece so these were the few forces we will discuss in detail about all of them how we will calculate the coefficient of friction coefficient of friction is calculated by uh, taking the ratio of two forces friction force and normal to the friction force the angle associated with the friction uh, force uh, with the friction uh, coefficient of friction is a friction angle and this angle is generated by beta So here the uh, I am uh, going to attempt to clear clarify you a few things with the help of uh, these figures. Okay, so in the first figure, uh, there is a, always a reference angle. Along with along with this reference angle, there is an angle. Uh, the angle at which the tool uh, has been tilted is measured. And this angle is known as rake angle, and rake angle is represented by angle alpha. And this is another figure in which we can see that the angle has been tilted at an angle alpha, and this or you can say transparent like image is the chip that is uh, separating uh, this tool is separating the chip from the workpiece, and the chip flow over this bluish uh, rake face of the tool, and this rake face of the tool directs the chip. flow okay this uh, rake angle it directs the direction to the chip so with the uh, reference angle the rake angle has been my rake, rake, angle, rake angle is made with the help of reference angle then uh, this angle is represented by alpha then we come towards a uh, shear plane shear plane is a plane along which uh, sh primary shear occurs and the secondary shear occurs um, between the chip and the rake face and this uh, shear plane angle it is represented by phi okay then uh, we will discuss about cutting forces so three cutting forces that are applied on a cutting tool uh, number one cutting force in the vertical direction then px in the horizontal direction and pz in the again horizontal direction but all along, along the radii of the workpiece so it is very clear that uh, cutting force is greater than uh, okay, feed uh, cutting force is uh, greater than feed force and feed force is uh, greater than radial force okay and then uh, py affects the job accuracy it means feed force it affects the job accuracy Uh, then, in order to uh, you have uh, already uh, studied in your manufacturing process course about a word that is known as merchant circle, merchant circle diagram. I hope you have heard about it. It's a merchant circle diagram. Now we will uh, today we will discuss in detail about this diagram. First of all, uh, we will uh, discuss about PZ. PZ is the cutting force. So uh, all of the six forces that are applied on this, uh, in this tool, we will discuss one by one. So the PZ is acting on the tool and along with the PZ, there will be a normal and this figure it is represented by PXY. Okay, uh, from head to tail rule, we will get a resultant that is represented by this uh, red line in the second figure. Then the second force occurs on the chip that is known as friction force. Again, we will draw a normal to the friction force. We got this normal, uh, which angle is associated with the friction uh, force or with normal of the friction force. That angle is known as uh, so uh, between F and N, the angle form is uh, eta. Sometimes it is uh, represent represented by uh, the digit uh, the alphabet beta. So uh, we got. The resultant between these two forces F and N, and this resultant is represented by this reddish line. Then uh, we will discuss about uh, third force that are acting. Uh, this force is known as FS shearing force. Along with this force, again we will draw a normal. We got N as normal to the shearing force. 
Again, final step is same as previous. We will draw resultant from the starting point from tail of NS to the head of FS. So we got uh, in total six forces and three resultant. Again, uh, in the next figure. So these are the forces. I will tell you again one by one. Uh, for the students have joined the class late. So we studied that a force PZ, it is a cutting force along with this cutting force, uh, we'll draw a normal PXY, okay. And if we join them by using head rotate rule, we got this resultant R. Then the second force that is acting uh, on the chip is known as FS, oh, sorry, F, friction force. We'll draw a normal to the friction force represented by N. We'll join them by using head to tail rule got this reddish line, this is no, the resultant. Then uh, the FS, this is the shearing force. We'll draw normal, that is NS. And again, we got the same resultant R. So it's very obvious to you people that uh, these two resultants, these are collinear, means their line of action is same. They are equal in magnitude, but opposite in direction. Okay, when we will join these two, these two circles, we got merchant circle diagram. And this merchant circle diagram is used to calculate, uh, is used to determine the mathematical expressions of these forces. So this is the circle in which all of the forces have been shown to you people. There are three angles uh, that are associated. I've told you again in the start of the class, uh, let me tell you again. Here we will get the angle beta. Uh, that the beta angle or eta angle, it is associated with the friction. Uh, with the shear plane angle, we will get angle phi. And uh, uh, with this uh, cutting force, uh, we will get uh, angle beta. Okay, here it is represented by beta. So then again, Forces involved in the machining, uh, FC is the cutting force, FT uh, thrust force, FS shearing, then uh, with along with, uh, with the normal, the normal tight is associated with the friction force, it is NS. And one of an, another is uh, F friction force and normal associated with the uh, friction force is N. Shear angle, it is, uh, it is associated with the uh, shear force upon the shear plane. Angle beta, friction angle, associated with the friction force. And angle alpha, it is the rate angle. So now this is the handmade diagram. And this diagram, we will use this or previous uh, diagram in order to find out about the thrust force, shear force, friction force, and these are the formulas with, by the help of these formulas, uh, you can easily drive these expressions. So this is the, again, uh, the same figure, how will I, I will explain you because it is a handmade, maybe a uh, few uh, students, uh, maybe they are confused. So. The tool has uh, the tool is tilted at an angle alpha. This angle alpha is known as a rake angle, and we measure uh, this angle with the help of this uh, reference plane. Okay. Then a uh, fr friction force occur on the rake face of the tool. This friction force is represented by F, along with this uh, normal. We will draw. We have drawn this normal, and we got the resultant R by connecting. Uh, so start of the F and the end of this uh, normal force N. And uh, between uh, this force F and the normal to the friction force, we got this angle beta. So we got two angles so far, angle beta, friction angle, and angle alpha, rake angle. So the tool uh, performs a deformation, shear deformation along an angle phi. This angle phi is known as shear plane angle. And this angle, uh, it, depending upon this angle, the power and the forces, it depends. Um, thickness of the chip also, it depends upon this angle, um, uh, shear plane angle phi. 
So FC again, third time I'm, I'm going to tell you it is the cutting force, and we uh, draw a normal to this cutting force FT. We got the angle uh, with this. Uh, okay, now I have to explain this angle how we will uh, how we got beta minus alpha. Uh, let me tell you this. Now, we will discuss this angle in the merchant circle. First of all, uh, vertical peaking is angle of alpha. And you have obviously classes in the metric. The line is the opposite angles of the client. So, the alpha angle is equal to the opposite side. We can consider that these two are equal to the magnitude. Then, we have to do this. 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 So it's 90 degree हमें छोटे-छोटे ऐसे कर दिए एक हिस्सा में मिल गया इस रेक्टेंगल की सूरत में अब दूसरा हम कैसे फाइंड आउट करेंगे दूसरा इस तरह कि हमारे पास एक राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल बन रही है इस वेक्टर f नॉर्मल टू दिस वेक्टर f फ्रिक्शन वेक्टर f है इसका नॉर्मल हमने n ड्रा कर दिया और इनका रिजल्ट आ गया r अब एक राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल है ऑब्वियसली सम ऑफ द ऑल ऑफ द एंगल्स विल बी इक्वल टू 180 एंड वन ऑफ द एंगल विल बी 90 डिग्री सो दिस आर दिस 90 डिग्री एंगल दैट इज फॉर्म बिटवीन f एंड n अब हमें पता चल गया कि इस राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल में जो बाकी दो एंगल्स हैं ऑब्वियसली दे आर इक्वल दे मस्ट बी इक्वल टू 90 डिग्री वन ऑफ द एंगल इज बीटा अब वी गॉट अ क्लू दैट इफ फ्रॉम द रिमेनिंग 90 डिग्री मींस सम ऑफ दीस टू एंगल्स इफ फ्रॉम द रिमेनिंग 90 डिग्री इफ वी सबट्रैक्ट दिस एंगल बीटा फ्रॉम 90 वी विल ऑब्वियसली गेट दिस थर्ड एंगल सो दिस एंगल बिकम 90 माइनस बीटा सो अगेन ये 90 डिग्री में मेक अल्फा पता चल चुका हमें पता चल गया यहां जो भी एंगल बनेगा वो इस एंगल से माइनस करके बनेगा एंड दैट विल बी अगर हम इसको लिखना चाहे तो लिखेंगे 90 minus बीटा स्टिल हमें दो चीज दो पता चल गई एंगल्स जो इस 90 पूरे 90 डिग्री में डिवाइन हुई हुई है अब हमें वो एंगल चाहिए जो FC कटिंग फोर्स और थ्रस्ट फोर्स के درمیان बन रहा है अब टोटल एंगल इन दो वर्टिकल लाइंस के درمیان 90 है so 90 में से अगर हम ये alpha और 90 में से ही जो इस triangle का ये angle था 90 minus beta अगर हम ये minus कर दें तो हमारे पास ये वाला angle आ जाएगा how we subtract 90 degree overall horizontal और vertical axis के दरमियान जो है 90 degree से हमने minus कर दें 90 minus beta triangle का ये angle plus this alpha ठीक है तो इस overall में से हमने क्या किया एक ही छोटा सा ये angle हमने minus कर दिया second हमने ये वाला angle minus कर दिया if we simplify it, we have beta minus alpha. So this beta minus alpha, this is the angle that is stood with the cutting force and the thrust force. Now we have to further discuss what we have to find out. If we separate the triangle, the cutting force, the thrust force, and the angle is beta minus alpha. Now we have to see what we can find out from this triangle. What can we find out from this triangle? Uh, इस ट्रायंगल की मदद से हम थ्रस्ट फोर्स फाइंड आउट कर सकते हैं अगर हम इसका साइन थीटा लें सो ऑब्वियसली साइन थीटा आपको पता है कि दैट इज इक्वल टू परपेंडिकुलर डिवाइडेड बाय हाइपोटेनस इस एंगल के ऑपोजिट जो भी एंगल के ऑपोजिट जो भी साइड होती है दैट इज ऑलवेज परपेंडिकुलर सो साइन थीटा ऑफ बीटा माइनस अल्फा विल बी इक्वल टू परपेंडिकुलर परपेंडिकुलर विल बिकम एफटी डिवाइडेड बाय हाइपोटेनस एंड देयर द हाइपोटेनस कौन सी साइड होती है एक ट्रायंगल की जो कि हमेशा 90 डिग्री के ऑपोजिट हो, तो R इस द हाइपोटेनस। तो तां साइन थीटा इक्वल टू परपेंडिकुलर डिवाइड बाय हाइपोटेनस। थीटा इस रिप्लेस बाय बीटा माइनस अल्फा। परपेंडिकुलर इस FT एंड हाइपोटेनस R बाय क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाइंग वी गोट सिस फोर्स इक्वल टू R साइन ऑफ बीटा माइनस अल्फा। � uh, base divided by hypotenuse. In this triangle, as the angle beta minus alpha is lie on this uh, side of a triangle, so it becomes base and hypotenuse again uh, opposite to 90 degree, that is R. So cos theta is equal to base divided by hypotenuse. 
theta will be replaced by angle beta minus alpha. Base is FC and hypotenuse R. When we cross multiply, we got cutting force is the expression of the cutting force. Similarly, uh, the next triangles we will uh, derive mathematical expression for the shear force. This is not the final expression. I have told you in the class start of the class that these are the final uh, expressions for shearing force, normal to shearing force, friction, and normal to uh, fr uh, friction force. And all of uh, these angles will be further derived from uh, this expression. How I will uh, uh, tell you. Uh, let me give you a clue. Have you studied about uh, uh, law of sine? You have the formula of the cos alpha plus beta. Yes, a plus sir. B likha gaya or yes, sir. sign of alpha plus beta up log on F is same about over. But anyway. Yes, sir. But anyway. Okay, so sine alpha plus beta is equal to sine alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sine beta. The char of formula is already up log on a pretty way when a half at least with him. Now, in the application case, you have to expand the sine beta minus alpha. And if you expand the sine beta minus alpha, you have to expand the sine beta minus और इस एक्सपेंड करने के बाद आप इसको आसानी से प्रूफ कर सकते हैं जो मैंने आपको चार बताए थे फोर्सेस के फार्मूलास वो यहां से इसको एक्सपेंड करने के बाद प्रूफ होंगे ओके okay, अब शीर फोर्स के लिए हमने कौन सी ट्रायंगल ली सो so, शीर फोर्स की जो ट्रायंगल थी वो ये वाली थी शीर प्लेन एंगल एफएस नॉर्मल टू शीर प्लेन एंगल ये वाली लाइन एनएस और इनका रिजल्टेंट आर हमने इस पूरी ये पूरी ट्रायंगल को सेपरेट कर दिया यहां पर यहां भी ठीक है अब बात आती है कि एंगल की कि एंगल फाइ प्लस बीटा माइनस अल्फा कैसे बना हुआ तो अब इसको देख लेते हैं आप देखिए ये जो एंगल बन रहा है एफएस शीर फोर्स और ये जो लाइन आपके पास आ रही है you can see ये NS अच्छा ये जो आपके पास angle बन रहा है FS और इसका जो resultant बन रहा है R इन किधर में angle तो इस angle को देखा जाए तो ये angle दो इसमें divide हुआ हुआ है दो further angles में एक angle हमारे पास phi है एक angle हमारे पास beta minus alpha है तो obviously अगर हम इन दोनों angle phi और beta minus alpha को sum करेंगे तो हमारे पास ये वाला angle आ जाएगा जो कि F shear force और resultant R किधर में बन रहा है ये एफएस और रिजल्टेंट माइनस इसके तरह में ठीक है सो अगेन वी गॉट 90 डिग्री बिटवीन शीयर फोर्स एंड नॉर्मल टू द शीयर फोर्स क्योंकि ये याद रखना कि जो नॉर्मल आप एंगल ड्रा कर रहे हो नॉर्मल वेक्टर जो ड्रा कर रहे हो इसका मेन वेक्टर के साथ हमेशा एंगल 90 डिग्री बनेगा सो वी गॉट दिस एंगल फाइ प्लस बीटा माइनस अल्फा अब हम इसको इस तरह ही कॉज और साइन के सिंपल फार्मूला से सॉल्व करेंगे आई होप uh, you can people can do it or should I have to explain? Take explain the cause of theta is equal to base divided by hypotenuse. So theta is uh, phi plus beta minus alpha. We have written there. Uh, this angle, uh, this angle, uh, this angle has been made on this uh, vector fs. So fs become base. So cause theta is equal to base divided by hypotenuse. Opposite to 90 degree, there is always a hypotenuse, and we uh, name it with the R. Upon the cross multiplication, we got shear force. And how we will uh, further solve this uh, the expression of this shear force? We will have to expand this expression. Or this expression will expand karo ke to yaad rakhna ki phi aapke paas ek angle hai aur beta minus alpha dusra angle hai. So apne phi ko uh, e consider kar lena aur beta minus alpha ko b. This is formula to expand the formula. And then uh, for the calculation of friction force, normal to friction force. So here pass is angle beta. Hota. Again, by the help of sine and cos theta's expression uh, that, are, that apply on the right angle triangle, uh, we will get these expressions. Okay. Okay, here I have explained that 
शेयर फोर्स और नॉर्मल टू शेयर फोर्स इसके आपके पास एक्सप्रेशन है आपको थोड़ी देर पहले मैंने बताया था कि आप बीटा माइनस एल्फा को एक एंगल के कंसिडर करोगे तो मैंने ब्रैकेट में इसको कर दिया एक और ब्रैकेट यहाँ डाल दिया इसको एक्सप्रेन करके आप सॉल्व करोगे तो आपके पास फ्रिक्शन आ जाएगा तो सॉल्व हुआ वह सारा एक्सप्रेशन ये वाली जो डायग्राम है वही डायग्राम है लेकिन ये कि जरा नीट एंड क्लीन आप देख सकते हैं ये शेयर फोर्स अप्लाई हो रही है एक शेयर पे एंगल पे उसे एक नॉर्मल ड्रा किया हुआ है और ये रिजल्टेंट आर अगेन एक फ्रिक्शन फोर्स एफ जो कि रेक एंगल पे चिप पे लग रही थी रेक एंगल के साथ और इस नॉर्मल एक ड्रा कर दी एंगल हमारे पास बीटा आ चुका है और ये हमारे पास एंगल एल्फा होता है डेट इज नोन एज रेक एंगल और अगर आप इसको नीचे भी ड्रा करें तो हमारे पास यहाँ पर ये रेक एंगल आ जाएगा सिर्फ नीट एंड क्लीन फिगर है ठीक है अगर आप इस फिगर को भी यूज करते हो तो आपकी मर्जी ठीक है तो ये मतलब इसमें दूसरा ये कि वन बाय वन जो सिंगल डायग्राम्स बनी हुई है ट्राइंगल्स बनी है प्रूफ करने के लिए वो यहाँ पर है ठीक है देन इसने को जो एंगल ट्राइंगल थी अगेन थ्रस्ट फोर्स कटिंग फोर्स और रिजल्टेंट ये वाली यहाँ पर इसने दोबारा ड्रा कर दी ये एक्सप्रेशन से जो मैं आपको कह रहा था कि आपने प्रूफ करने होते हैं उसको मैंने आपको बता दिया कि जब हमने फिलहाल प्रूफ किया आप एक्सपेंड करोगे तो आप प्रूफ कर सकते हैं देन शेयर फोर्स नॉर्मल टू ठीक है हमेशा याद रखना है शेयर फोर्स का एंगल फाइव होगा फ्रिक्शन के साथ बीटा होगा और ये जो रेक फे एंगल है ये एल्फा so forces in the cutting uh, metal cutting this equation uh, these equation can be uh, derived so with the help of these equations uh, we can find out the forces ab kaise kyunki dekho alpha hamare paas rake angle hai obviously hum khud ek machine mein set karte hain to hame is angle ka pata hota hai agar hame alpha ka pata hai theek hai aur uske baad hame uh, step by step hum aage solve karenge ab hame cutting force kaise pata chalega fc ka वो हमारे पास यहाँ पर आ, हमें जो फ्रिक्शन एंगल और अगेन रेक एंगल का पता यहाँ से एफ सी कटिंग फोर्स आ जाएगा और कटिंग फोर्स एक्सप्रेशन आगे यूज हो जाएगा तो इसमें ये कि हमारे पास एंगल्स हमें एटलीस्ट पता होता है और एंगल से जब हम फोर्स कैलकुलेट करेंगे तो वी इसके इसकी मदद से हमें तमाम के तमाम फोर्सेज हम फर्दर कैलकुलेट कर सकते हैं लेकिन इट्स स्टेप बाई स्टेप प्रोसीजर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इसमें ये पता होना चाहिए कि जो एंगल हमने सेट किए हैं आधर शेयर पेन एंगल या हमारे पास जो रेक एंगल है वो क्या है सो बेस्ड अपॉन दीज कैलकुलेट फोर्सेस वी कैन मैय द शेयर स्ट्रेस एंड कोफिशिएंट ऑफ द फ्रिक्शन मीटिंग टाइम इज लेस देन वन मिनट